What's up guys, here today with another episode of our Road to Rank series for you. But before I begin, I want to tell you guys that I will be going away for the next 10 days, so if there aren't that many uploads to the channel, that's why I'm actually bulk recording a few episodes of Road to Rank right now, so I will have some videos up on the channel while I'm away. But... We're going to go ahead and jump right into this, as you see the team we're build, uh, bringing, and our current record right now is 6 and 9. Yes, I know. Um, as we see, I already got an opponent from California. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this and see. See, they brought the Crobat, Manetric, probably Mega, Breloom, Cresselia, Entei, and Pinsir. So, two possible Megas. Probably running the same thing I'm running where he's bringing two Megas at the same time, just in case. Um... Hmm... I see... No reason... Hmm... I think I'm going to lead Rhydon, going to bring the Sharpedo and bring superior we're gonna go ahead and roll with that <clears throat> yes guys I will be away for the next 10 days so I'm gonna try to have a few videos up on the channel but if you don't see a lot that's why I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a warning I didn't, and I also didn't want to just leave without having any content recorded for you guys but we see my opponent brings out the Braylon I'm actually going to switch out into my superior, predicting the possible spore. Plus, I don't want my superior taking any grass type moves, and superior should be able to take it decently well. I think it has a little bit of natural bulk. See the bullet seed, okay? Doesn't do too much. We'll see if he's technician or. Not very effective. Okay, so it hit three times. It's definitely enough damage to take my sub, so I'm going to go ahead and go for a Leaf Storm right here. Start setting up my special attack, but yes, I will be away, and I just wanted to have some videos. A few videos recorded for you guys while I'm away, just so I can keep uploading and grow the channel even while I'm out doing things. Because I still value my channel, but I do want to go out and do real things too. As we see, my opponent brings in the Entei. You know, I keep forgetting to put, I keep forgetting to put HP Rock on this thing because that would definitely be beneficial right now. But I'm going to go ahead and switch back out into my Rhydon, predicting him to want to go for a fire type move. So we do see the Sacred Fire. Let me take that great. So that was life orb damage too. My goodness. My land. You know, I'm gonna I feel safe just going for this Delth Rock. I wanna punish him for switching in and out. Break any potential focus ashes if his last mon has any. See if he wants to stay in. He that was life orb, so we know he's not as we see, do see the withdrawal, okay. Out into the Cresselia. I don't quite know what this thing wants to go for. May want to go for a Toxic. In which case... I'm just going to stay in and go for a Stone Edge. There's the Toxic? Okay. I definitely didn't want my... Sharpedo or Superior to catch that. See, I do land my Stone Edge. Does a little baby chunk of damage. I'm wondering if I can get lucky. Probably going to see Ice Beam. Okay. So neutral damage. Or super effective? Super effective. That's right. Rock doesn't resist ice. And a crit. I'm going to get off this Ice Punch. Get the freeze? Nope. We see it's a Rocky Helmet. Okay. Since it is packing the Ice Beam, I don't want to go out to my Superior. But what I am going to do... 
is I'm just gonna protect. No, I'm gonna mega evolve and go for a crunch. I don't want. I have to get off as much damage as possible because I don't want. I have to be able to kill this thing with a leaf storm if I do have to sack this thing. See, so I get my crunch off. It's enough to take it out, thank goodness. That strong jaw is coming through. <clears throat> See, here is why I wanted to <laughs> get a speed boost up. Because this thing goes for the mock punch. Technici yeah, technician boosted. Now here I have no reason to not just... Go for a leaf storm. I have no reason not to. So much this mock punch does. Oh. Almost wish I would have went for the Giga Drain. That rare, 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 rare chance I can survive this, which I probably won't. And I don't. Okay, so we lost that first one, and our record is 6 and 10 now. We're going to go ahead and, and have three battles per video, like always. Kind of wanted to cut it down to two because then I could fit more in and have multiple videos, but then I don't think they would last very long, so continue battling, yes. In party. Continue, we'll switch to music too. But hopefully once I get back, I'll be able to start introducing some new ideas. I do love Road to Rank. I really do. For situations like this where I can bulk record because I'm not really at a point where I can just tweet out. Which, by the way, if you guys have a Twitter, please follow me because I want to get to a point where I can start asking for Wi-Fi battles on there. Because I want the main, main focus of my channel to be Wi-Fi battles. So I obviously want to have that content on here more obviously not over the next 10 days but once I get back I want to start uploading three times a week working my way up to five because I do have a few competitive series ideas that I want to bring to the channel and but I don't know why I said and but I want to make Wi-Fi battles like the main focal point of the channel like main series like at least two three times a week and then the other series be on here as well. But see, my opponent has the Blast, Blast Toys, Hariyama, Weezing, Regirock, Lilligant, and Excadrill. So. I have no reason not to go for Superior, Sharpedo. And go Reuniclus. We'll roll with that. <clears throat> but yeah, I want to start bringing Wi Fi battles to the channel. Three times a week at least. Once I work my way up to that point. I would have. I honestly wanted to do just Wi Fi battles on my channel, but it was getting hard to find Wi Fi battles from time to time. So I decided to introduce Road to Rank, but it's good because I get a little more practice and I get to see a lot more stuff like I talked about in the last episode, but we see my opponent does bring out the Weezing. Now here, I'm going to set up a sub, seeing if he wants to go for Will-O-Wisp. He's probably going to go for the Sludge Bomb, obviously. Do see the Sludge Bomb, okay. Will definitely be enough to take us out. I am going to switch out into Reuniclus. Don't want to take any more damage on this thing, and I obviously don't want to lose it just to get off a little bit of chip damage. Switch out to the Reuniclus. Take this Sludge Bomb relatively well. 
I'm gonna go for a calm mind right here. If he wants to stay in, that's completely fine. <laughs> if he wants to switch out, that's fine as well. I'm fine with either. <laughs> so we, they do withdraw. Okay. Smart. There's blast toys. Get up to that plus one special attack and special defense. So, I don't know how much this is going to do, but I'm going to go for a side shock. Probably going to be carrying the Dark Pulse, and that's fine. Because if I can hit Weezing with a Leaf Storm, get up to plus two, then hit it again, we do see the Dark Pulse. We do live. Don't flinch. Okay, so we're going to go off a little bit of damage. That's fine. Perfectly fine. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. That's beautiful. That's fine. See if they want to stay in because they know if I switch in superior, they're going to lose it. See, predicting the superior right there. Now I'm in a pretty good position now to where I can shoot this thing with uh, Leaf Storm. I don't know why I said shoot, like it's a gun. If you want to switch into Weezing, that's completely fine. It's going to take that, but we see that it does stand. It would have taken that Leaf Storm damage, and then I would have been up to plus two, and then I could have hit it with the Dragon Pulse on the following turn. But... Since it has the special defense of a newborn child... Gonna go ahead and hit this with the Dragon Pulse. There's a clean amount. I have to say goodbye to Superior as we don't. Okay, no toxic. Thank goodness. So, as long as that wasn't a roll, we can take this thing out with the Dragon Pulse and see what the last Mon is. Alright, take out the Weezing. Let's see what this last Mon is. Hopefully I'll be able to outspeed it and it doesn't have any priority. Lilligan, okay. Now here... I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain. Break any potential sashes, get a little bit of HP recovery. Plus two. Oh yeah. Crit. Hidden power. Alright, so we're in a pretty good position. I don't think this outspeeds, but at the same time, I cannot afford to let... I can't afford to let it get off a Quiver Dance if I go for Protect, which I think it... My opponent may try to think and predict. But we all know Pokemon's like a chess game. You know, it's about who outpredicts who. See the sleep powder, and I avoid it, thank goodness. And we get off our Ice Fang. So now the record is 7 to 10. Balancing it out a little bit. See if we can't bring it to 8 and 10 in this next game. Don't want to save the video. Anyways, guys, yeah, it was my original intention to have only Wi Fi battles on this channel until Sun and Moon came out, but things change and. Wi-Fi battles were getting a little harder to find at times, so then I had to resort to bring Road Rank, which I have no regrets about. Like, I enjoy Road Rank, and it's fun, it's quick, it's easy to just sit down and win it compared to, like, Wi-Fi battles, because I take Road Rank serious in a way, but not as serious as Wi-Fi battles. Wi-Fi battles to me are, like, my hyper-competitive, like, I aim to win. 
my Wi-Fi battles. I aim to win Road to Rank, but not as not as hyper competitive. I don't know if I said hyper offensive before or hyper competitive, but I'm hyper competitive about my Wi-Fi battles and just regular competitive about my Road to Rank. If I lose, it's no biggie. But it's the same thing with Wi-Fi battles. If I lose, I'm not gonna be upset about it. But oh well. See, my opponent has the Garchomp, Tyranitar, Blaziken, Gyarados, Whimsicott, and Jolteon. Hmm. I'm going to lead Sharpedo, bring the Yon Mega. And I'm going to bring. Don't want to bring the Reuniclus. No, we'll bring Superior again. Yeah, just in case. This will be the last battle of this video, and hopefully, I can record. Uh, probably gonna record two. I don't know if I want to record three episodes tonight or four. We'll see. I lead my shark here. Okay. Definitely not a good matchup. Um, we're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna go for my protect. Thunder wave. Hmm. Almost wish I would have brought. Ride on this game. I'm gonna Mega Evolve and go for Crunch. I was really hoping I'd see the switch out right there. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful Sharkpedo. Get off this Crunch, please, Flinch. Or take it out, okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> no complaints from me. Did this last small is last. I don't know where I got last from. I'm gonna go for a waterfall. Predict to protect. There's a protect. So I'm gonna lose this game. Go for waterfall again. There's the focus ash. Please get. Goes for bulk up. Okay, so we're gonna see speed boost, and I'm gonna lose it right here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna quit the game, but <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know it's a loss right here. Okay, or not. But it was that last mon. Garchomp, okay. Not rough skin or rocky helmet. Is it mega Garchomp? I'm gonna go for Ice Fang. Mega Garchomp. You know, wish I would've went for Protect because it loses speed upon its mega, I do believe. Uh, if he would have lot, if he would have missed that dual chop, if only. So I'm going out to Superior. That attack boost isn't in my favor though. Uh, I'm going for Leaf Storm. <laughs> There's the outrage. Okay. Goodbye. I never see Mega Garchomp. Because I'm pretty sure no one in the Smogren community uses it. <laughs> For the simple fact that a Scarf Chomp can take out a Mega Chomp. Easy. At least in every situation I've ever been in. So there's the Outrage. No confusion. That's 
That's a beautiful thing. I'm going to see if I can't get the double protect. Please. I get the double protect. Okay. So it's not over yet. How has he not gotten... Go for Air Slash. If I can't potentially get the flinch, I do get the flinch. Beautiful. Go for Bug Buzz. No reason not to. I'm in a pretty good position because now I'm going to be able to outspeed that... Outspeed that Blaze can see. This is what I love about Pokemon. That battle, from the looks of things, the way Blaziken was setting up on me, he had two Mons left. I lost everything. From the looks of that, <clears throat> anyone would have thought I was losing that battle, but now it is like completely turned around. See? And I won that game. That's like the beauty of Pokemon that I love. <clears throat> But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, I will see you guys later.